so much for watching. Today's video is the eyebrow product showdown. We're gonna get down and dirty and talk about a ton of different eyebrow products. Let's get to it. eyebrow pencils right here. Three are of a similar type and these two are also of a similar type. So let me talk about these two really quickly. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Triangular Brow Pencil. It was just released in the last couple weeks or so. I have this in the shade Taupe. It does have a triangular tip. This allows you to use the pencil in three different ways. You can use it along the flat way, kind of like this. You can use it to shade in a bigger area like this. And you can also use the tip of the pencil to create really fine eyebrow hairs, like that. This eyebrow pencil retails for $23. You can find it in Sephora and Ulta stores, so you can go and swatch and pick the right one for you. That's one thing I really love about Anastasia brow products is that she offers a ton of different colors. You are sure to find the perfect undertone and color match for you and your specific brow needs. This product glides on fairly easily. It's pretty creamy. It's very easy to use. It comes with a spoolie on the one end, like all of the brow pencils I'm gonna show you. For $23, you do get a very high quality, easy to use brow pencil. You can create a very soft, natural eyebrow or a very harsh, defined, structured brow. The other eyebrow pencil that is very, very similar to that one is by Charlotte Tilbury. It is her Brow Lift 3-Way Shape Lift and Shade Tool. It has the same exact tip. This one right here is the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one right here is the Anastasia one. They are almost identical. I have my Charlotte Tilbury one in the sh in the darkest shade. This is taupe from Anastasia. This is Charlotte Tilbury. There are only three shades of this. Chances are if you live in the US, you won't be able to find this in store to swatch. As far as color selection, the Anastasia brow products definitely win. And the Charlotte Tilbury one is $30. This pencil has 0.6 grams of product, which is quite a bit. In comparison, the Anastasia Brow Definer only comes with 0.2 grams. So you are getting three times this much product in this. So as far as price per gram, you're getting a better deal with the Charlotte Tilbury one. I also like how the Charlotte Tilbury one applies on the brows better because you can definitely create a more natural looking brow easier because it's less pigmented. You may or may not like that fact. You may prefer the Anastasia one because you can get a dramatic result much faster than with the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I like the Charlotte Tilbury one because because it builds up slowly. You have to go over the same area, I feel like, more times in order to get the same opacity, which allows me a little more control. I feel like I can't mess up my eyebrows. It's great for a natural day. It's not exceptional if you wanna create a really fast, dramatic eyebrow. The next three brow pencils I'm gonna be talking about are the very famous Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. In dark brown, I also have like the medium brown shade. The also very famous NYX Micro Brow Pencil in taupe. And then I also just picked up this new L'Oreal 
Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. All three of these brow pencils come with 0.003 ounces of product and the Anastasia one retails for $21, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil retails for $9.99 and the L'Oreal retails for $8.99. I have to say that Anastasia again takes the cake for both formula and color selection. It is very pigmented. It glides on very easily. It's very, very fine so that you can create very, very small eyebrow hairs. NYX one has been around for a while and <clears throat> people seem to say it's a lot like the Anastasia one, which I agree, but I find it a little stiffer, a little bit harder. Oops, I just drew into the Anastasia one. It is kind of hard to work with. It's, it's a very hard formula. I am not a fan of this NYX one. I feel like I have to scrape at my skin in order to get a good color payoff. The staying power isn't as good. This has a lot of different color options as well, so it's good for that. It's about half the price as the Anastasia one, but it's just, in my opinion, not nearly as good. The L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer only comes with three shades, so limited color selection. However, this one is my favorite of the three. It is the least expensive, but it also has the best grip and pigmentation. So this is the Anastasia one, the NYX, and then the L'Oreal. It comes off very easily, but you can also draw on very lightly. You, it's very easy to control. It grips onto your skin, almost like a wax, so it really holds on and lasts all day, and I love it. This is my favorite of the three. It's also the least expensive of the three. It has a great spoolie on the other end, and I like how this end is clear. As you can see with these other two pencils, both ends are completely opaque so sometimes when I'm in a rush I will try and go for the pencil end but accidentally go for the the spoolie end which isn't a big deal Anastasia changed their design so that the two ends are different lengths so you can kind of have an idea uh, and I think the same thing with the NYX one but the L'Oreal one just makes it so easy. It's very, very functional. You know exactly what you're going for, and it's also a wonderful formula. As far as between these two, which are my two favorite brow pencils, the Charlotte Tilbury one and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I do prefer my Charlotte Tilbury one, even though it is more expensive. It does come with more product. It is the easiest for of all of these brow pencils for me to use because of the ease of having the ability to use it in so many different ways because of the shape of the tip. This one is my favorite brow pencil of all five. My second favorite is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. If you want a pencil that will work for you for really dramatic eyebrows, if you have really sp sparse eyebrow hairs and you have a lot to fill in, this guy might be a better bet for you, the L'Oreal pencil, because you are able to get it to be so dark so quickly and very, very easily. It's very easy to use. But if you have naturally full brows and you just need to give it a little bit more definition, I think you will more prefer the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil. Now the next category of eyebrow products I'm going to talk about are powders. And I have two types of powders I'm going to talk about. The Senna Brow Book and this Bodyography Brow Powder Trio. This guy, I think I got it in a boxy charm. And it's super convenient because it's such a nice compact size and it comes with three very universal shades. It's great to mix. If you have warmer toned light brows, you can mix these two. This is a really nice powder trio. I think that it comes with quite a bit of product. It comes 
with 0.1 ounces. It retails for about $18. The powders are very pigmented, very soft, very blendable. You can even use these as eyeshadows if you want. Very nice and easy to use. This lightest shade is very unique and I really like it a lot for filling in brows. I do recommend this, but I more prefer my very expensive Senna brow book. This thing is awesome. I've talked about it in previous videos. I use this thing almost every day. It has nine different shades of eyebrow powders. It has a highlighting brow bone powder shade and it has a wax. You're able to take each of these powders out to replace them or to take them out and put them in a Z palette. And these shades are so good. These green tone shades are perfect for creating a really cool, nice, natural look. They have some nice warm shades and gray toned shades. This kit is amazing for anybody who loves makeup. This is definitely a nice investment piece. The other product that's kind of similar to powders is this dip brow pomade that I have from Anastasia. This is so good if you want a very intense eyebrow. You can take this and it's it's like a cream formula. I mean look at that. That's like an eyeliner. You can even use this as an eyeliner. It retails for $18 a jar. It does last a long time. It dries out after a little while and you can mix some oil into it once it does to get it to be usable again. I have mine in ash brown which is a really lovely color. So there's a lot of hype here on YouTube about this product and it's for a reason. If you want dramatic brows, if you have a lot to fill in, if you want really nice defined brows, go for this. If you want really natural and you have barely anything that you need to do to your brows, don't go for this because you can make it natural but you're better off with one of those pencils or powders. Good stuff though. The next couple of brow products I'm going to talk about are my two eyebrow gels. This one is from Anastasia. Again, I have a ton of her brow products. It retails for $22 and it comes with 0.28 ounces of product. This is like super glue for your eyebrows. Even when I use this other one, I tend to like put this on first and then use this guy. If you have unpredictable brow hairs that just kind of go everywhere, this just sets it and keeps it there all throughout the day. It's so good. I've gotten so many of my friends and family hooked on this stuff. It's like addictive. If I do anything to my face, it's probably gonna be this. I'm probably gonna use a little bit of this. It just makes your eyebrows sit in the most flattering way. It's so good. The other brow gel that I really like is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It retails for about $7 depending where you buy it, I think. It comes in three shades. It's a brow gel that gives each brow hair a little bit more fullness, coats those brow hairs that are very, very fine and barely there and makes them a little more defined. This stuff is great too. L'Oreal, you are killing it. These two guys are amazing, so good. They need more colors. L'Oreal, please give more color options. People have so many different color brows. Calm down. It's not that serious. For real. From Senna Cosmetics, again, it's the Light Tricks Highlighting Duo. It comes with a cream highlighter that's matte and then a shimmery highlighting and that's translucent but gives a little bit of sheen. This highlighting pencil is awesome. It's great for right underneath the brow and even sometimes above if you want to give your, your eyebrows even more definition. I do highly recommend this pencil and you can even put this in the waterline if you want like a nude eyeliner for the waterline. And this retails for $22. A net weight of 
1.05 ounces. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope it gave you some direction as to what brow products you can try and invest in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!